<laughs> Hello everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and today we're on a different table because my mom is here! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and so she's going to be helping me film today's video. Today we're going to be doing another animal in environment challenge. Which one would you like to pick, Mom? Would you like to pick the animal or the environment? I'll pick the animal. Okay, so you can pick that one. Okay. We'll shake them up. All right. <laughs> Scorpion. <laughs> and I got bamboo forest. What? Interesting. Cool. So we'll do a scorpion and a bamboo forest. Okay, after lots of image searching, I think we've finally got our photo references. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna be drawing on this left side and my mom is gonna be drawing on the right side. Which pencil and or eraser do you want, oh mom? This sake. one does not have an eraser in it. Okay. Um... Sounds good. You ready, Mom? Not really. No <laughs> <laughs> <the> pressure. <laughs> you gotta show everyone where I got my art talents. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not for me. <laughs> At least not producing under pressure. <laughs> Alrighty, well let's oh go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even draw anything. <laughs> There's no pressure. Yeah, right. I like I need to be more zoomed in than I drew. <laughs> Maybe we should have done the three mark challenge. <laughs> I gave my mom a choice of doing the animal and environments challenge or the three marker challenge. And she didn't exactly pick the animal <laughs> environments <laughs> challenge, but <laughs> it's what we ended up going with. I agree with your decision to start with the scorpion. Scorpion. My scorpion looks like it has eight legs. You're so stupid. Okay, eight legs. So much struggles already. <laughs> I think maybe I'm better just drawing without looking. <laughs> That's fine. You can do that too. I'll give you a a paper placemat of like macaroni grill, and you'll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> surprisingly difficult to draw. <laughs> come up with a creative scenario for a scorpion in a bamboo forest. I'm like, what do you do with that? It's not like a scorpion in a hot air balloon or something. Right. <laughs> My scorpion's in a miniature bamboo forest because this is not... That could be part of the quirk of it. Of... Life-size scorpion. Yeah. Although I guess life-size just implies that it's how it is in real life. Giant scorpion. <laughs> I was really good at drawing. I would have made my scorpion climbing out of a lucky bamboo jar plant oh. thing. But it's that, not too late. <laughs> no, that's way, way too challenging for me. <laughs> Do scorpions even see you? That's also another question. I think they're like under this little hood thing. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's cute! Oh, I love that. <laughs> I don't like drawing scorpions, I've decided. <laughs> right? It's too hard. <laughs> His eyes were cute, but it didn't. It's not the right first bad guy right now. He looked like Sebastian from The Little <laughs> he Mermaid did. when he's like hiding from the cook yeah. in his shell. so cool looking when I find them alive. Mine mm -hmm. doesn't look anything <laughs> like that. These look so retarded. Like these claws are so retarded. Their claws are so cool in real life. Okay, stop with the scorpion. <laughs> Let's try some of those plants are so much friendlier, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I find bamboo yeah. forest to be actually kind of hard because the, the foliage, mm -hmm. I feel like it's hard to get it to look right. Liners. Okay. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna like have some control with my stupid little band-aid. <laughs> oh no, that's right. <laughs> Can't control my finger. How's it going? It's going alright. <laughs> my finger is 
making it a little difficult to do the line work, but that's okay. Cute little sphinx in the bamboo. <laughs> Is that really a thing? Nope. Woo! <laughs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> Once it's in ink, it's forever. <laughs> ah! It's just art, right? It can be any interpretation yeah. you want. <laughs> exactly. And it's just a drawing. That's why I like doodling. Mm -hmm. There's like no real commitment. I feel like that's why I've always struggled to doodle because I'm like, it never looks right. I don't know what I'm doing. Drawing without references gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, I think. I would have been better without my reference on this. <laughs> but maybe not. It's, it's a good stretch, right? Live by example, right? <laughs> what have I told my children? Don't be afraid to try something new. <coughs> but as an adult, you're allowed to break the rules that your Yay! parents told you. I don't want to start on the part that actually matters. I don't like the snakies in the bamboo bowl. My scorpion is going on vacation. Ah, with its babies. <laughs> you always come up with such cute ideas. When in doubt, leave it out. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Ugh. Are male scorpions tiny and get eaten? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Scorpions are hard. Oh, I don't know. I think it's cute. It's like you totally get the cute. idea. <laughs> and I think the hard part about doing art is also that you have this like expectation of yourself and you see it in your mind's eye and then it almost never turns out that way. <laughs> yeah. well, that was a bad addition. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Me every time I draw bamboo. <laughs> I'll like stick to the drawing that you drew. Don't be adding things. <laughs> It's like a lobster. This is really bad. Oh my gosh. I think it's because I'm like trying to draw trying in one draw orientation. In one orientation. Yeah. That took me so long to get used to. It's part of why I changed camera angles so that I can move the <laughs> I know I just want to turn the book. My other ones don't really look like lobsters. Oh, no, <laughs> it's cute. It doesn't look like a lobster. Okay, I'll have to make a guy that do this with me next time. <laughs> yeah. And then we have to decide what we're gonna be coloring it with. <laughs> what? Nobody said anything about coloring. <laughs> I feel like you like to use colored pencils or colored pencils. I also have my Copic markers. I have watercolor. No watercolor. <laughs> For sure not. Too much to do, I shouldn't have added those. <laughs> You can choose to not line them. No, them. it definitely balances out. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Doing great, Mom. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Home stretch. Home stretch. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Okay. <laughs> now we'll let it dry for a little bit and then we'll color. First, we gotta erase it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just realized I didn't put his back, back leg, leg on the side. It doesn't look wrong. Or sure. straight. <laughs> Sorry that we went a little crooked for a while. <laughs> Alrighty, so have this little chart for you, mom. If you feel like you need it, you can reference this oh, for man. colors. And then we've got a big bucket of Copic markers. So these are the ones you have? Yeah. Okay. Everything that's colored in is ones that I have. So I'll take... <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, these are so juicy. Juicy. Exactly. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, is this your first time using Copic markers? Yep. Nice. Yeah, so some things about them is like if you want to blend, you want to 
do it in small sections so that you make sure okay. your your ink is still wet when you uh, okay. go in for it. But like with this, I wasn't too worried about it because I kind of want that like mossy look and I want it to look a little purposeful and like in a, in a place, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. <laughs> So often I accidentally pick up the wrong marker and lay it down and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> this is also not technically marker paper. Uh, so it's like, it's not the best for using markers, I guess, but I've used actual marker paper, like render paper, mm -hmm. and I like it a lot less. So I don't Oh, I think it makes it more streaky, actually. Oops. I'll have to open the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot too. Um, if you haven't noticed already. Um, there's like a little gray line on the side that has uh, a brush tip. Nope, I wouldn't notice that at all. <laughs> That's so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't notice. Oh, keep going over the lines. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes so, uh, I just give up and like whatever. It's an out of the lines kind of day. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm coloring my bamboo in this like yellow color because that's the color of my reference I'm in. But I wonder if it's actually like a dead bamboo forest <laughs> and that's why it's yellow. But it's like growing leaves and yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, so. when they get really big, that's like an ancient bamboo forest. Cool. The bigger they get, the they do, they turn brown. That's good. It's the young, it's the baby forest like mine that's green. <laughs> Plus, I'd just rather color in green. <laughs> it's funny, it's almost like figuring out how to use them more like watercolors. Mm, mm -hmm. Like, you know, making a color that I put down already become wet again and then I can move it around. Right. They but, make a... But you have a lot more control Yeah. <laughs> watercolor, which is nice. Yeah, that's kind of why I like them so much. <laughs> you don't like this one. Huh? That's a G24. You don't like that one, I think. Oh, where's the one I've been using all the, all this time? Maybe this one? Oh, wait. Oh, we wait. Two G24s. What? Or have I been using the same oh, wait. color? Oh, wait. Oh, you switched caps. <laughs> oh, crud. <laughs> Um, so this one is G24. This one is G, um, <laughs> Yeah, I've been definitely using that one. That's oh my funny. gosh. No wonder I was so confused. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Because I was using two and I was uh -huh. holding the caps in my hands. Yeah. And the... Yeah, see that? Yeah. Kind of interesting i just am now realizing that the scorpion and the bamboo are kind of similar in the sense that they are in these sort of like connecting joints oh uh, yeah because i'm about to use a very similar coloring technique for my little scorpion Next time, Dad. I wish I had like a, a purple highlighter. 
<laughs> I want to use it for the little babies that make them all like oh, like glowy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna kill this marker. <laughs> Run me dry. Run me dry on this one. Oh my god. As a kid, I remember hating coloring in backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> so monotonous. I don't know that anyone really enjoys it. Are you all done? No, I gotta do them. Same. Oh, okay. When in doubt, mix them all. <laughs> Are you done, Mom? I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you'd be faster at the coloring part than me. Quite a bit simpler. I made it a lot simpler. <laughs> I have to figure out what colors to do the snake and the bird. <laughs> I'm not good at all the shine stuff. Yeah, it takes a cool. lot of practice. I feel like I've only recently started to actually be okay at it. <laughs> what was your day in a life of an art YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It started off a little stressful, <laughs> but it's good. It's easy to just let go, really. Yeah. I like how we both decided to go in like the purple family for scorpion. Yeah. Okay, snakeys. <laughs> what color should be? Bright green. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Yay. <laughs> um, burb. Mm -hmm. Maybe like orange reddish. Okay. Awesome. I think we're all done. We're all done. Oh, see, I like. <laughs> So what were you saying? You like oh, the... Oh, just like I like this section uh -huh. where I was, you know, I had some variation texture going. Yeah. But it was going to take me forever, forever to yeah. do that on the whole thing. Definitely. That's like, like with doing all of these kinds of things, it can yeah. just take a long time. Yeah. But yeah, it looks really good. I love the like yellow undertones peeking out. <laughs> and I like the dimension on your little scorpion with your different shades of purple. It's awesome. Well, thanks, Mom, for joining me today. Super fun. And thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.